He is joined by Petia Cueva Brooks, Deputy Director of the Research Department. Global economic prospects have been severely set back, largely because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. This crisis unfolds as the global economy has not yet fully recovered from the pandemic. Even before the war, inflation in many countries had been rising due to supply-demand imbalances and policy support during the pandemic, prompting a tightening of monetary policy. The latest lockdowns in China could cause new bottlenecks in supply chains. In this context, beyond its immediate and tragic humanitarian impact, the war will slow economic growth and increase inflation. Overall economic risks have risen sharply and policy trade-offs have become even more challenging. Compared to our January forecast, we have revised our projection for global growth downwards to 3.6% in both 2022 and 2023. This reflects the direct impact of the war on Ukraine and sanctions on Russia, with both countries projected to experience steep contractions. The growth outlook for the European Union has been revised downward by 1.1 percentage points due to the indirect effects of the war, making it the second largest contributor to the overall downward revision. The war adds to the series of supply shocks that have struck the global economy in recent years. Like seismic waves, its effect will propagate far and wide through commodity markets, trade, and financial linkages. The displacement of about 5 million Ukrainian people to neighboring countries, especially Poland, Romania, Moldova, and Hungary, adds to the economic pressures in the region. The medium-term outlook is revised downwards for all groups, except commodity exporters who benefit from the surge in energy and food prices.